Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's a hockey talk today. We have the all-star break so I thought as I did last year it's time to talk about some trophies and I want to start off with uh, the one trophy which I think will be pretty hard contested in the second half of the season which is the Vezina trophy. Right now we have a clear front runner. Let's see if he can keep it up or if some of the other guys can close into his numbers. The Vezina conversation will be very interesting for the remainder of the season. And I put up some stats on the board. You will see it in a second, right behind me. And then let's talk about some goalies. So here is the Vezina discussion at the All-Star break 2023. So ready? Okay, let's go. Unfortunately, you cannot see the jerseys I put up in the background anymore. I had a Ryan Miller jersey and my Connor Hellebuck jersey put up there. And I'm wearing number 40 today. Not uh, by accident, it's a Boston jersey because, yeah, you know it all, the Boston goaltender is right now the front runner for the Vesna Trophy. Let's talk about him first. Linus Ulmark, who played for Buffalo for quite a while, is now his second season in Boston. Last year in the playoffs, yeah, I was there. He did not play the games I saw at TD Garden. It was Jeremy Swayman and the Bruins won both of these games. So he didn't have his best uh, performance in last year's playoffs and last year altogether. But this year, Linus Ulmark has arrived. He is leading the league with a 937 save percentage. That's really, really good. This is almost, yeah, I think Shesterkin last season had a 938, so he's almost there. And last season, Shesterkin was considered to be the world beater of them all. Ulmark has almost the same save percentage as he had right now. He is also leading the league with a 190 goals against average. He has 26 wins, which is also first in the NHL. He made 901 saves at all and had two shutouts. Yeah, this column, number of saves. I put that up for a reason. I will talk about that when we get to the next guys. So, Linus Ulmark, definitely right now the front runner for the, for the Vezina, leading the goalies in three categories and he is having a very, very good season. Although you have to mention that the Boston team altogether has a very, very good season and they're playing defensively brilliant, which of course helps the numbers of Ulmark, but he also helps himself and the team with his performance. The next guy I want to talk about, okay, let's jump to the top, is Ilya Sorokin of the New York Islanders. Of course, he is suffering a little bit by playing on the Islanders. The team is in the playoff conversation right now. They are below the line. Let's see if they make it above. If they do, Ilya Sorokin will be definitely a major factor. Right now he has a 924 save percentage, which is second and an excellent number. Sorokin with a 238 goals against average, which is really, really good. He has 16 wins. Okay, here comes the Islanders part of the season. But because they didn't win that as many games as maybe the Bruins or some other teams on the board. Sorokin made 1,058 saves in total this season and has three shutouts. Just here the difference, Ulmark 901, Sorokin 1,058. This is a difference and Sorokin is not number one on this, uh, in this category, he's not even in the top three. Uh, the guy who is in the top three and is not mentioned on the board with the number of saves made is Carl Vimelka of the Arizona Coyotes. But yeah, Vemalka is definitely not in the Vesna conversation, but Ilya Sorokin definitely is. Like the next guy on the board, Kana Hellebuck of the Winnipeg Jets. Last year he was not that good, but this year Hellebuck is back to Vesna level. He is definitely in the conversation, and I think he also should be in the hard conversation, but because what would be Winnipeg this year without the goaltending of Kana Hellebuck? It's a point we can discuss about. There will be also a video uh, discussion of the Hart Trophy in the coming days. Hellebuck, right now, 923 save percentage, which is third in the league. 245 goals against, 24 wins, which is second in the league. And he made 1,164 saves this season. This is mad. Three shutouts are on his books as well. And as mentioned, he's having a fantastic year. He is back being Connor Hellebuck when he won the Vesna Trophy. Was it 2019? I think it was 2019, yeah. So Hellebuck, 
another guy who is definitely in, in the conversation, like is the next guy, Jake Ottinger from the Dallas Stars. Otter has a 923 save percentage, which is the same as Conor Hellebuck. 2.26 goals against average, which is second in the league, only to Linus Ullmark. Ottinger with 21 wins on a Dallas team. He made 999 saves up to this point in the season. And he has four shutouts, which is co-leading the league with another goaltender that is on the board. Ottinger, uh, after the discussion of his contract, yeah, in the offseason, he was, it was not that sure, I think for a time that Dallas would really give him the money that he's worth. He's proven that he is worth every, every cent the stars are paying him. His numbers are fantastic. He is their clear-cut number one. Although Scott Wedgwood, his backup, has some very good numbers too. But Ottinger is the guy in Dallas. And they are right now first in the West. Don't forget about that. Next guy on the board, also with a crazy, crazy total uh, saves made this year, Jose Saros from the Nashville Predators. He had a fantastic year last year. He is having a very good season this year. He has a 920 save percentage, which is very good. 274 goals against average speaks definitely against the defense of the Predators. It's not his fault. Basically, it's not always his fault. Sometimes, yeah, sure, but he is playing so good. The eyeball test. Watch a Nashville game if Saros is playing and tell me that he is not one of the best in the game. He is. He has 19 wins, 2 shutouts and 1,143 saves, which is second just to Conor Hellebuck. What a great season. Saros is, for me, definitely in the Vezina conversation. Some other guys on the board. Of course, the reigning Vezina champion, the title defender, Igor Shesterkin from the New York Rangers has this year a 918 save percentage after the world beating 938 last year. So it's a little bit of a drop off for Shesterkin. Or is it that players now know what he's doing, how he's moving, or that the defense of the Rangers is not perfect this year? Discussion worthy, definitely. 246 goals against average is not discussion worthy. This is a very good number. 21 wins, one shutout, 992 saves made this far this season. Shesterkin is the reigning champion he when he has a good second half he will be in the conversation again definitely one guy that i'm surprised made it to the sport is vitek vanacek from the new jersey devils being with the washington capitals for quite a while he never turned out to be the goaltender they expected to be and they got rid of him like with Ilya samsonov from the who is now with the maple leafs who also could have been on the sport but i decided not to put him on but Vanacek, yeah, 9.17 save percentage, 2.29 goals against average, which is third. Very close to Ottinger, not that far behind Ulmark, and way ahead of all the other guys on the board. 21 wins for the Devils and uh, Vitek Vanacek, 744 saves made, two shutouts. This is the lowest number of saves made on the board by far. So the defense of the Devils doesn't give him way too many shots against, which, yeah, is good. Combined with a safe percentage, you have a fantastic season for Vitek Vanacek, who clearly is the Devils' number one right now. And very possible, very likely, that he will take the Devils to the playoffs for the first time in quite a while. And if he can keep this up, maybe he will end up in the Vezina conversation. Remains to be seen. Okay, four more names on the board because you can never talk Vesna without talking about Andrei Vasilevsky. The goaltender of the Tampa Bay Lightning, who is, I think, altogether the best goalie in the game, the best playoff goalie for sure. That has not his strongest season, season but his numbers are still good. He is, uh, Vasilevsky has a 919 save percentage, 2.51 goals against average, 23 wins, which is third. And there's another guy with 23 wins who is not on this board because the save percentage is 896. Of course, I'm talking about Martin Jones, who ties Vasilevsky right now for third in the wins column. Unbelievable, but Martin Jones ties Andrei Vasilevsky third in the wins column. Vasilevsky, 1014 saves made. He has no shutouts this far. 
the Lightning are, yeah, they are the Lightning. They are, went to the Stanley Cup final three years in a row. Right now, well assured, third in the Atlantic. They will go to the playoffs. And then Vasilyevsky will show who he really is. Maybe he can get into the business conversation with a good second half. Remains to be seen, like with uh, Vanacek. Vasilevsky is just a great goaltender. Next up, Alexander Georgiev, who was Shesterkin's backup with the Rangers last year and is now with the Colorado Avalanche as the new number one. Georgiev, 920 save percentage, 2.57 goals against, 20 wins, 996 saves with two shutouts. Did you expect him to have this great numbers as the new number one? No, neither did I. I thought, yeah, he would be around the 9-10, maybe with uh, below three goals against, something like that. But this good, I didn't expect Georgiev to be that good. He's proven us all wrong, and yeah, he is on the avalanche now. They will win a lot of games in the second half as they're getting healthier. And uh, the better Georgiev plays, the better his chances for the Vezina will become. Maybe he jumps into the conversation. It's possible. Like with the two other guys on the board. First up, we have Darcy Kemper. Now, uh, he, of course, won the Stanley Cup with the Avalanche last year as their starting goaltender. Now he's in Washington. He got his money, which is good. And looks, he will be in the playoffs again this year with the Capitals. But this is not sure, as the East is going pretty tight right now. We have an eight-point difference between the last playoff team, which is right now Pittsburgh, and uh, the Detroit Red Wings. And there are, I think, five teams in between. This will be very interesting in the East. Everything can happen. I wouldn't rule out Ottawa or Detroit going on a run and knock on the door of the playoffs. Right now, Washington is in. Darcy Camper with a 9.15 save percentage. 2.62 goals against. 15 wins. 899 saves made this year. And four shutouts, which lead the league together with Jake Ottinger. Kemper is having a great season. He is definitely a great goalie. And, yeah, I think the Capitals having a lot of fun with him, and he has with them. The last guy on the board is a guy that I think nobody is talking about because he is injured right now, and he has been injured for quite a while, forcing his backup, Casey DeSmith, to take the reins in the net. I think Justin, Dustin Tokarski got a few starts for the Penguins because Tristan Jari is still out. Let's see when he comes back, because he was definitely a rock for them. 921 save percentage, 2.65 goals against, 16 wins, 816 saves made, and one shutout. And this number is clearly lower, because he didn't play that many games. That's why he doesn't have the many wins, and he doesn't have the many saves. These are the clear numbers. The Vesna conversation will be definitely very interesting. Right now, if I have to pick yeah, it's still hard. Who will be the final three? You have at least, I think, uh, six guys. So the top six on the board. Shesterkin, Soros, Ottinger, Hellebach, Ulmark and Sorotkin that are in the view for the Vezina Trophy right now. From the numbers, it had to be Ulmark. From the way he plays, I think it has to be Hellebach. From the view to the future, it has to be Ottinger or Sorotkin. And never rule out what Yusuf Soros can do. Never rule out what Andrei Shesterkin can do. Uh, if you go just by the play, I would give it to Connor Hellebuck. But very close second would be uh, Linus Ulmark. They're both having great seasons. Let's see what happens in the second half. I'm very eager to watch all these goaltenders play in the second half of the season. And I really hope they're all having great seasons. Although, yeah, I like to see a lot of goals. But good place by goaltenders is always something to watch too. I like that. My first favorite player when I was 11, 12 years old, just came into hockey, was the goaltender of the EFA Landshut. His name was Bernie Engelbrecht. He was uh, yeah, a solid goaltender, not the best, but yeah, he was the one and he made me a fan of goalies and it was, I'm still that. I'm still a fan of goalies. So, I'm very interested, of course, how the second half of the season goes out and who will win the Vezina finally. Let me know in the comment section below who do you think will win the Vezina. I'm very eager to know. Right now, already mentioned, I would give it to Hellebuck, but 
everything can happen in the second half of the season. All right, that's it for this one. The Vesna conversation, the next video of this kind will be out shortly, I hope. Then we will talk about defensemen and the Norris, which will be, I think, a very interesting conversation as well. And I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am. Okay, now really that's it. Thanks again. See you soon. Have a good time. Goodbye.